I'm here with my colleague John Olczyk to share some of our thoughts and expectations for Black Cat 2017. And you know, John, every time we get together to shoot a video like this, we have so much to talk about because there's so much that's going to happen at Black Hat again this year. And we've been doing just a ton of market research, including a recent study you did on security operations and analytics. In that context, what are you looking to see at Black Hat? Well, Doug, what, uh, what the research talked about was the, really the angst that people feel because there's so many problems. I think of death by a thousand cuts with yeah. security analytics and operations. So they're understaffed, they're confused, they have too many tools, uh, they don't have the right skill sets. Alert fatigue. Exactly. But what, what's interesting is there's a lot of initiatives, there's a lot of innovation in this area. So how do you, how do you kind of square those two things? So, uh, for instance, companies are really interested in security analytics and operations, automation and orchestration. Well, where does that sit and what things do they want to do? They're interested in machine learning, but they're toe dipping. So what's the use case there? And um, they're integrating technologies like our SOAP architecture, security operations and analytics platform architecture. Um, but where do they start? Now, one of the places we're finding that they start is with uh, EDR, so endpoint detection and response. And that sure. calls into question what you're researching, which is uh, endpoint security. So what's going on there and what do you look for at Black Hat? You bet. I am just wading through a ton of research data on the endpoint security market. You know, the current state of affairs and vendor landscape and, and threat landscape. You know, thematically, John, what we're finding is we've got a constant state of change when it comes to endpoint security. Mm -hmm. You know, because operational issues in terms of, again, alert fatigue, having to re-image re systems, um, the diversity of the threat landscape in terms of fileless attacks, multi-stage attacks, not to mention common malware. Organizations have this sort of, you know, regular cadence of revisiting their processes, their tools, their technologies, and their, and their vendors. It, there's a bit of thrashing, really. You know, it's, it's a really dynamic market. We know there are a mm -hmm. lot of vendors with a lot of new emerging technologies, and I think organizations are just you know, trying to keep pace and, and balance this, you know, the um, need for greater efficacy for these, these new advanced threats, but also to try to, you know, gain some level of incremental operational efficiency. And one of the things we, we looked at in the research was sort of the understanding um, and applicability of some of the new detection techniques with respect to machine learning and streaming behavior analysis and how those directly are applicable and relate to um, dealing with new and unknown malware and fileless attacks. And suffice to say, I think customers are confused. And so one of the things I'm looking for at Black Hat is how vendors are going to be conveying the use of those new technologies relative to those specific types of threats. Mm -hmm. And I know another, yet another research project we have in the queue that you're leading is a joint project with the ISSA. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna look at how cybersecurity professionals are you know, getting up to speed and learning about these new technologies in that project? Yeah, um, because we know that, um, that companies are understaffed. Uh, we know that there's a global cybersecurity skills shortage. And we know that the people who work in cybersecurity are overwhelmed. So how do they keep up with things like endpoint security, with things like security analytics? So yes, we're about to kick off our second year, second annual research project with the Information Systems Security Association, ISSA, yeah. to look at these very things, to look at what the life of a cybersecurity professional is like. And not to be even more confusing, but we're seeing the use of uh, hybrid clouds or multiple clouds, uh, heterogeneous hybrid clouds, so lots of different clouds, and that's changing security too. And that we, we're teeing that research up, but it's a good opportunity for us to go in and see what's going on in the market at Black Hat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is another research project we're doing this second half of the year, which is really around how um, multi-dimensional hybrid clouds are impacting cybersecurity priorities. And we know from prior research that organizations are adopting cloud services from multiple CSPs. Mm -hmm. So that's one sort of dimension of hybrid clouds. But the other one is containers. Oh, yeah. You know, what I'm finding in talking to customers is, you know, sort of organizations that maybe have been laggards with respect to the adoption of cloud are containerizing their apps in an on-prem environment in readying that, so sort of queuing it up in dev and test on-prem, and then getting ready to de deploy those in the cloud. So that's the other aspect this research is gonna look like, is not only consuming services from multiple CSPs, but now multiple workload types. So we, we still got bare metal, we got on-prem virtual you know, VMs, right, and we got cloud-based VMs, 
and now containers and other types of microservices are going to hit here. And that arguably, of course, is going to change the role of traditional network-based, perimeter-based security controls. Yeah. And we've looked at things like micro-segmentation. Are we going to be looking yeah. at that at Black Hat as well? Micro-segmentation at the network layer, micro-segmentation at the workload layer. And I'm also very intrigued by the whole notion of the software-defined perimeter. So how do we take a user from any device anywhere in the world and connect them securely to any service regardless of its location? And of course, this intersects closely with identity and access management. And we're pleased to have Mark Bowker joining us uh, to cover that space more closely. So a lot to look forward to at Black Hat once again. Once again. Well, good. John, looking forward to it in just a couple of weeks out here, and looking forward to seeing everybody at Black Hat.